Well, good morning, or good evening, wherever you are. Here in Angeles, it's a day for running errands, and we'd like to thank you for stopping by. It's Mike and Arlen from Our Philippine Journey. And today, it uh, one of the errands that we had to take care of, or I had to take care of, was taking the green machine out for a bath. Now, we're pretty fortunate in that we have covered underground parking at our condo, and we don't take this out driving around in the rain or anything like that. So it doesn't get really dirty, but it does get very dusty. It seems like forever there's nothing but dust everywhere. And it was just time to get it all taken care of and one of the other problems that we have. And one of those problems uh, I'll go into just a little bit later. If you like this video, please subscribe. It's just Life in Angeles. Uh, and hit that like button. It's really important. So we, this place is uh, right down the road from where we live. Uh, over at Candy Palace. And we uh, take both our SUV and uh, the green machine there to get it washed and cleaned up and everything on a pretty routine basis because you can't keep stuff out in the sun. And while we do have underground parking, there's not always a space available for the SUV. And we have to put that into the parking lot. Um, most of the time there is. It's just the dust. It's consistent, and it's uh, all the time. So these kids are, uh, this, they do a great job of basic wash and clean. This place is right beside Rachio's. It's on the little side street that connects Narcisco to Malabanas. So it's kind of like on the way from our place at Candy Palace to, say, Hensonville, but at least Malabanas to cut up and down in both directions. We've had, uh, we've had the scooter, I guess, probably about a year, and we haven't had too many issues. We did run into one issue. I don't know what happened, but the automatic charger which is supposed to turn off. We had the battery plugged in, we were charging it, and I guess the charger didn't turn off, and that's what it's supposed to do when it reaches a full charge. So it ended up charging all day and then all night. And it ended up blowing up our batteries. So inside of this, it's got uh, one, two, three, three or four. I think it's three. No, it's four. Four dry cells. And uh, it just blew them all. I mean, swelled them all up to the point where actually even the battery case could not uh, be salvaged. Not that we had any leakage of, of acid. It just swelled them. And there was no fixing them. We took it in, called the guy up, said, hey, we've got a problem here. He said, well, you know, you've had a, a year or past the warranty stage anyways. So we said, okay, what are we going to do? He said, well, we just buy some new batteries. So we looked on um, Shopee and we looked on Lazada to see what it would cost for the batteries. And funny enough, it was the same exact cost for the batteries and the uh, charger, a new charger, because I wasn't going to trust the old one again. It was the same exact price as if ordering it from Lazada. So we said, okay, got it installed, and everything's been going well. The charger turns off. Uh, batteries are charged, and we generally charge this. It takes uh, maybe about a once a week we charge it 
Uh, we don't have a charging outlet in the garage that we can plug it into. So we actually pull the battery case. We have a little cart in our uh, car that we keep in the garage that allows us to uh, bring in groceries and stuff like that. Put the case on that, bring it up to the condo, plug it in, and it just hums away. Can't complain. Easy peasy. Takes care of it. Uh, we use this just to jit around and get to basic places up and down Fields Ave, up and down in our general area, out to dinner to the local areas because it's easy to park, easy to get around, and you can kind of pretend you're a little Filipino and drive on the side and lane split and do all the normal, usual, and customary crazy stuff that every every trike driver and every motorcycle driver does. The kids washed it up good, cleaned it up good. Oh, there's the carpet. Now, we don't put the carpet in anymore. We very rarely use it. And the reason is because in that parking garage, because it has an entrance and an exit, cats. And the cats come in and as soon as one cat finds a place to take a piss, it pees on the carpets. So they're done. It's great. I want to really thank you guys for watching. We hope you have a great day. Please don't forget to subscribe and please hit that thumbs up.